All right, while we're loading in, let's explain what we're doing here. So as promised on our finale live stream, I wanted to know what would happen if we sent Gale off on his own to do his explodey thing. Basically, this is the video of Gale Go Boom. So that's what we're going to do. It is probably going to be very quick. We're not going to go through all the ending. Well, we might, I don't know, but this is meant to be a little quick thing. So we're not going to get the bonus scene at the end. We're probably not going to get a load of the finale. This is purely just what happens when you push the Gale panic button. At a time when the game will let you push it, because I tried to push it, as you will have seen, um, before the end. And I was told, no, you're a failure. So let's actually see what happened. And how I, I trigger this. Are you ready to face the nether brain? Gail, are you ready? city now, far away from any innocents. I can end this now. Stop the absolute and spare the city. The stage is set for my final act. The mistress bidding and the redemption that lies beyond. You brought me right where I need to be. I have no right to ask more of you. It's time I spirited you to safety. For this is a fate I must face alone. The hood has made Gale bald. No, absolutely. You intend to go up there by yourself to die alone? As much as I enjoy your company, I'm not willing to kill you just to wring out a few last moments. It's just I appreciate a that. between two deaths. Quick and meaningful or torturous and pointless. Now or never. If this is truly what you want. What I want, perhaps not. But what I need, I believe so. But it may not be the last turn of the page, even if it seems so. There's endless wonder out there. Infinite possibilities. Perhaps fate will bring us back together. Before the universe dims. Oh. Fogamus Inferni Blandimenta. We are gone. We're out. You go then, Gale. Let's make this count. The whole world's watching. If there's a fight here, I've just made it almost impossible because my entire party and Orpheus, who we forced to change in, in force, he offered, so I said yes. That's a cool shot. The brain hasn't started flying. Oh, this is very different. Surrender and live. Thrall! Thrall? No, I think you're mistaken. The name's Gale of Waterdeep. <laughs> A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Though our time together will be exceptionally brief. Farewell. And... Happy land. Oh. Is that going to pierce the orb? Apparently so. Gale go big boom. Big bada boom.
Man, that made the fight so much easier. <laughs> The question is, where did he send us? Do it, love. Stick him with the pointy end. Get him. The butchering of the mind flayers. Here's a cool cutscene. A little janky, but it is a cool cutscene. So far, if we had have gone with this as our chosen ending, like the Gale thing, I would have feel like I cheated myself out of a, an epic fight. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it. For this. So where did he send us? What a deep. Oh, just away. That's different. Instead of it crashing in the lake. He did it. He actually did it. He blew up the brain. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died in the explosion. That means I can't turn into a mind flare. But Gail, he's gone. He sacrificed his life for everyone. He may not have been a warrior, but he fought better than any of us. Even when my time in the prism stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. Are we going to stick with our original first, choices? Lazel. I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. No, I think that she should do it. You should do this, Lazelle. Your people need you. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakith's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from this form. We'll... we'll for what I remember, we'll stick with our choices. He deserves an honourable death. I don't know if anything's going to be different here.
Cutscene is a bit juddery. I don't remember it being this juddery when we first did it. No, it was for Mark, but I can never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. I wonder if you romance Lazelle if there's an option to go with her. To the skies. Because there's two dragons that he has, she calls one. If you romance her, or if you're a Githyanki and you romance her, do you take the other dragon? Maybe we'll find out on the co-op. If she survives it. The Githyanki are leaving. It would have been hard to imagine parting ways from them peacefully once. We're getting a very shadow heart focused gone, one. There's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smouldering. Waiting to be rebuilt. Right. I suppose there is more work to do now. What first? This is different. I like that Shadow Heart has more to say. Considering we romanced her, there should have been more options. We will drink for Gale. Boo and I are banned from most of the inns in the city, but you may order for us. Many died so that we could see this day. They deserve to be honored. But first, we revel and rest. I agree. Don't do it. I wish the helmet in a cutscene, when the helmets are ticked off, the helmets just don't show up at all. The city's going to be all right. Ruins this for me, because it's such a shitty looking helmet. So are you. In a cutscene. In battle, it's amazing. Oh, Karlak. Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. I do. I'm going to give you the same answer I gave you the first time. Fucking perfect. So are you. My friend. My companion. I adore you. <sighs> Careful. Hot. I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. Oh, it's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city with my friends. One day, one adventure. And I saw. I see. Goodbye. No, stop. I won't allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. You can't. <sighs> still want to pick one and the three of us go but that isn't the ending of this story 
Go, Kalak. Well, we'll be with you. You won't be alone anymore. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. I'll go. Well, with you. But we have to go. Now. I can't hang on much longer. I've just realised we don't actually get a goodbye scene with Will. This is with Karlak, and it's beautifully moving. But her and Will just go. You don't get a goodbye from Will. It's over. And it's all because of you. Well, Gail, but yeah. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire. No death Scratch. or tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. I'm assuming the Emperor died in the explosion as well. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Of Baldurin, I guess. Last night was perfect. I know. Though I couldn't help lying there thinking about my parents before you stood. Because this is an alternate ending, this isn't the actual ending for Todd's adventure, we're going with it. Ah, dead parents. The perfect post-coital subject. Sorry. Thought I'd catch you in the afterglow. I gave them the release they asked for. Freed myself Wasn't as funny as I thought. Just as they wished for. Felt kind of bad now. But there's moments where I think I'd trade that to be able to see them again. Talk to them again. There's so much only they could have told me. But that's all gone now. I've got to move on. Find some place for myself. I do like that this cutscene has them in their camp clothes and out of armour. I think that's fitting. Obviously, there's a place for you by my side if you want it. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever lies ahead will be far less daunting if I have you. It could be just like old times. But well, there'll be no car like. Hopefully not exactly like old times. I think I've had enough camping and mortal peril for one lifetime. I agree. Until the DLC comes, and then I'm all for the camping and mortal peril. This plays out, I mean obviously it's based on the choices that you pick, but this plays out basically the same. Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Again, there's, there's some discrepancies in this for me. She should be saying no, Will, not Soldier. Too. She called me Soldier. Gods. Will was Will. Life Will was always work. Will. They'll be on us soon. But this just so this is time. clearly written for her to be addressing you. Which is a shame, but I think this was added post. I I was done with these. <laughs> it's still fucking cool. But then, there was you. And again, it's almost like she should be talking to the player character. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And the fact that forget. Will is such a pivotal character in the story, if you use his you quest and this. go through it, let these fuckers know I'm he just stands there and smiling. Time, he doesn't do anything. I'm not alone. That blade looks like it's snap with a good swing, though. I'm glad that Will has Baldoran's blade, though. Fitting for his heritage. And I'm assuming now this will be the same. Art. 
Yeah. The dead three. It's truly thou sort it's go Can we not felled by mortals at vermin? Yeah, we've already seen that on the main playthrough. Um Much easier ending. Right, it was just fun to see Gale go boom. Um nothing it doesn't really change anything. I think at this point, when you make that choice, you're so far into all of the choices that you've made that it the story's kinda stuck. Instead of Jahira saying stuff in that final cutscene on the docks, it was Shadowheart, which fits the other ending better, actually. Because, obviously, Shadowheart and Todd were very closely intertwined. Let me know what you think in the comments of Gale's demise. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.